What up YouTube, Soul Food SF here. We're back, Friday Finds. I believe this is episode eight. Uh, we got some shoes, we got some clothes, we got some hats. Um, this was probably the slowest week for me in a long time. It's been raining every single day here uh, in the Bay Area, so I've been trying not to drive. I'm just kind of laying low. But uh, we still managed to get some good things. It wasn't as epic as the last couple of episodes, but I still think we got some cool things. First off, a couple shout outs, TVS, uh, that's the squad, and actually DP the truth, shout out to him, I ran into him out in the trenches thrifting, so shout out to you my dude, it was good running into you, um, OG Snapback, that's the big homie, E Dog 1303 uh, I told him I'd shout him out, hit up his website if you want some cool vintage gear, uh, he has some good stuff there, uh, Thriftaholics, they always bring some good stuff, uh, and Kazillion SF, I told him I was going to give him a shout out, and uh, shout out to all you guys who are subscribing. Uh, we've been going at this heavy for two months and it's grown. It's almost at a thousand. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, just in time for St. Patty's Day, vintage uh, Larry Bird caricature by Salem. It's a little cracking, but it's just it looks really vintage. It's pretty cool. So it's by Salem. Uh, Celtics nutmeg. I forget someone shouted me out in a video with a 49ers one, just like this. I forget who it is, but if I didn't shout you out at the beginning, I'll find you next week and I'll shout you out. But much love for that. Um, I think it's Nutmeg, Celtics. Pretty cool. Uh, these are really nice shirts. Vintage Chicago Cubs. Uh, baseball club. This is vintage from the 80s. You can see the tag right there. It's 15% uh, rayon. So if you have a chance to pick up some of these shirts, if you live in a humid area or where it's really hot in the summer, pick these up because um, these are super soft and the material soaks up moisture. So those are really good. Uh, same kind of shirt, but it's a Georgia Bulldogs. It's like a velour iron-on. I think this is by Russell. Yeah, so that's also a rayon shirt. Really nice. Uh, vintage back-to-back -back champions. It's from 89, 49ers. I really like this shirt. It's pretty simple, but it's pretty much brand new. It's by Nutmeg. The gold really glistens. It looks brand new. So it's from 95. Nutmeg right there. Um, I got this vintage Brazil soccer jersey. Um, I'm not sure exactly a lot about this jersey. It just feels really vintage and it's pretty cool. So I scooped that up. Um, this looks brand new, dead stock. It's by Starter. That's uh, the diamond design. You got Starter on the sleeve. Pick this up right there, Starter right there. Really nice size XL. Um, Joe knows Super Bowls. Obviously being in the Bay, I find a lot of Bay Area teams. So this looks brand new too. Really nice. This is a really nice shirt. I gotta wash it still, but it's still pretty sick. You got Chicago Bulls and the block lettering right there. Huge logo, blank on the back. But it was like a couple bucks. It's size XL. Really nice shirt. Uh, vintage Chicago Bulls. I forget who makes this. I'm not even sure who makes this, but um, the silver lining, you can't see it here, but the silver lining glistens. Kind of like the 49ers gold glistens. This is silver, it glistens. Really nice shirt. Couple jerseys. Uh, this is an authentic Florida State Nike jersey. So um, if you want to follow the tournament, this is all gold. Really nice condition. The piping on this is sick. So it's like the Bobby Sura era. Um, right there. No name on it, but everything's sewn on. Super nice. Uh, vintage Latrell Sprewell champion. These are getting hard to find with the lightning bolt down the side. Size 40. Really nice condition, spree well on the back. No cracking at all. Uh, I wish this was a men's jersey, but you all know, Yukon number 34, it's a starter jersey. Ray Allen, Jesus Shuttlesworth. It's a kid's XL, so it probably could fit an adult small. Um, it's bleeding a little bit, so it's kind of pink. The lettering's a little pink, but it's still one of the sickest jerseys. I mean, Ray Allen's one of my favorite players. So it's a little cracking right there and a little pink, but that's a dope ass jersey. We got these, probably the same person donated these. A vintage Nike Arizona jersey, Nike Elite. I believe this is Jason Gardner's number. Uh, so pretty sick right there, nothing on the back. This is a vintage Damon Stoudemire Arizona jersey, size 48. I gotta wash it, but um, I think it's from like 95 era with the blue patches on top. So 
Scoop that up. Scoop this, Adidas, Jerry Rice jersey. Really good condition, just pretty simple. Um, rice on the back, no cracking at all. This is an OG Jordan 13 Flint shooting shirt. I had this when I was, I wanna say seventh or eighth grade. So I picked this up again, really nice condition. This is really sick. This is from, I wanna say 95, Carolina shooting shirt. Uh, you got the Carolina swoosh right there. Um, Nike patch right or Nike tag right there. Uh, half button up. It just reminds me of Jerry Stackhouse. I'm gonna say Eric Montross. So, just a pretty sick shooting shirt. Good for the tournament. A lot of good college things at the tournaments going on. Especially this one right here. This squad is probably gonna win it. John Calipari. You got a the vintage shooting shirt by Champion. Size medium. Uh, this is a huge patch embroidered. So Kentucky Wildcats. Picked up this, CCM. Dallas Stars vintage jersey, just blank on the back, but it looks in really, really good condition. Uh, scoop this up. I actually tried this on, it's really sick. It's a blue tag vintage Nike tracksuit. So you can see the blue tag right here. Um, there's like five bucks. It's uh, kind of a, not Carolina blue. But it's blue and gray. It looks really sick though, and it's actually really comfortable. So it's a size large. I'm gonna keep that. These, <laughs> some of you are gonna remember these Gecko Hawaii kind of hammer pants. Yeah, I probably won't be wearing these, but I scooped them up just for the hell of it. Because I remember when I was in second grade, I used to wear these all the time. So those are kind of kind of stupid, kind of cool at the same time. Uh, this is a really nice piece. It's a vintage Pendleton cardigan. So it's got the virgin wool. Um, just a really, really quality piece. Um, you can see right there. Um, it's just been, it needs to be ironed a little bit. Or steam cleaned or whatever. Uh, we got this, just a vintage um, Chicago Bears. Kind of thermal. Pretty cool. Vintage 49ers crew neck by Lee. Got all the embroidery. See right there, really nice condition. Uh, vintage Sharks logo seven crew neck, kind of cracking, but it's still. I love the teal colorway. Teal is a uh, probably one of my favorite colors. We got this. It's a little. I think it's an adult small or a kid's large. Vintage 49ers by Trench. Right there, really small. I need to wash that. Another vintage 49ers crew neck. Um, pretty light on the jackets. I probably scooped them up all the week before, but it's a pro player Redskins. Um, size XL. I think it's missing the hood, but on the back it's pretty cool. It's got the Washington right there and the Redskins right there. So that was pretty sick. Scoop this up. I haven't found one of these in a long time. Vintage Lakers chalk line, size XL. Uh, it's in really good condition. So you can see everything's pretty good. The buttons are all not scratched up, really nice. And this was a cool thing that I found. It's a vintage starter, 1996 USA jacket, brand new with the tags. Got USA on the sleeve, and um, USA is embroidered right there. It's got a hood that comes out and on the back, you got Atlanta on the back with the stars, kind of looks like a flag. So I thought that was really sick. All right, let's go into the hats. Start in the back row. I'll pick this up today. Tag still on it. I hate when thrift stores do this, but they staple it through the brim. But it comes out pretty clean. Brand new with tags. Drew Pearson, Cowboys. Black snap, gray under. Uh, brand new with tags. Houston Astros. Who is this? Competitor. It's got the 125th anniversary. I actually really like this hat. So I'll probably keep that. Uh, Michigan State Spartans. It's a new era. Um, brand new. Or it looks brand new at least. These guys got a chance of winning the national title too. Uh, vintage San Diego Padres, the old logo. The brim's a little bent, but I think it's outdoor cap. Yeah, pretty cool. I like this hat a lot. Chicago Bears sports specialties laser. So, not bad condition. It's a little, it's a little grimy on the inside. Um, sorry for the lighting, I'm doing this later at night. But a really quality hat. So you got the huge laser design right there. Sports specialties on the side. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. This is not a snapback. It's a fitted. It is a size 
seven and three eighths. I might turn it into a snapback, I might not. It actually fits me, so I just thought it was dope. This just, the script lettering is just clean as shit. I love uh, script hats, so check that out. Um, this 49er script, this is a, also a fitted. I might chop this one up to six and seven eighths, so it's tiny. Um, I might turn this into a snap. So pretty sick there. Got this today. I was really excited uh, for the fact that I haven't found a, a paint splash hat in a long time. Even though I hate the Cowboys. Some of you guys are going to knock me for that. But I, I haven't found a paint splash in a long time. So this was really sick. It was like 99 cents. So Pro, Pro Line Authentic there. Blue Snaps. Pro Line Green Under. Uh, really nice find. Um, New Jersey Devils, strap back, plain and simple, green under, 49ers, it's like a wool, I think it's by the game, yeah, uh, just a really nice hat, it fits really, really well, so red snap, a little dirty, uh, green under, pick that up, just got this today, it's by Russell, kind of fits low, but the design is glossy on the front with uh, the gold, the gold embroidery, green under, it's by Russell. So, pick that up, pick this up, um, the brim I still need to flatten it a little bit, Cincinnati Red Script, it's got the gray wool, the snap is broken, it's by starter, so I might put a red strap back on this, um, just got to clean it a little bit, it's a pretty sick hat actually. Um, this vintage polo hat, I love polo, so the brim is actually flattened straight, looks brand new, so you got the strap. Um, the next hat, I saved it for last, one of the most iconic snapbacks of my era. Um, it's not exactly the hat that Tupac wore, but it's pretty close. He wore, in poetic justice, the black brim. But it's the Chicago White Sox. You guys know this hat. Blockhead. So sick. So if you guys Google it and just put in Tupac White Sox, you guys will get that screenshot that he wore this hat throughout the entire movie. He had the black brim. Uh, with the black button, but that's a sick ass hat. Probably one of the better hats I've found in a long time. Um, shoes. I found some heat at the thrift. So, first off, we'll go through these. Um, I got these for 12 bucks. They are pretty beat up, but they are copper foam posits. Uh, I cleaned all the outers of these, but there's yellowing on the, on the soles, and there seems to be some air pocket right there. So if you want those, I'll let those go for cheap. They're size 11 and a half. No shoelaces though. Um, next up I got these. These are size 10 and a half C. So they're little kid shoes. 2001 retro breads. Bread 11s. Really nice condition. Really, really sick. I, um, I was really excited when I found these because I collect kid shoes. So these are dope. Um, these, one of my favorite shoes of all times. These are the retros from a couple years ago. Uh, they're the Reebok The Questions, Allen Iverson, his rookie year shoe. So when I played basketball, he was the reason I wore number three. So really, really good condition. Size 11 and a half. Um, not much to say about damage on those, but great pickup. And the pickup of the week has to be these. Okay, I got these today. They're size 14. Nike Air Jordan Retro 11 Concords. Um, they're size 14. This is the 2000 Retro Edition. So I paid 25 bucks for these. You got the Nike Air on the insole. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, Nike Air right there. These aren't in bad condition at all. So these will definitely be up for sale. If you want, hit me up with offers. These are authentic. I'm a huge sneakerhead. But to find these at a thrift, the one day I didn't have my video camera with me too, I found them. So I had to record it on my phone. But um, great finds with the shoes. Solid finds with the hats. Again, we got a bunch of clothes. Shout out to all you guys for keeping this business alive. Um, keep on watching. Tune in every week. And let's keep it moving. Let's move all these products. All right. Soul Food SF. I'm out.